Okay, here we go. This is a fast walkthrough from a, just a single camera shot so you can see the whole thing. Here I come in. I don't realize that Dizzle's staying there. Oh, now I do. And right there, that's all up against the padding in my uh, in the in the arms of my jacket, so that doesn't really hurt. He's he is actually really hitting me pretty hard. Oh, okay. And uh, that's a cut. We're gonna cut straight into this sequence here. Try to get out, but the door's locked behind me. I really like this helmet shot right there. And here I totally get the crap beat out of me. Ah, to make a comeback. Now, this is where he realizes, oh, I don't have any padding or armor down there on my legs. I should take my legs out. There you go. Knocks me down. So, uh, this is going to be another cut. And I'm going to go right here, do an ostrich dip into my helmet. And uh, give him a headbutt. And he gets pissed off at that, so he just tries to punch me in the face. Doesn't realize or forgets I have my helmet on, you idiot. <laughs> that's, a, that's quite a ring. Whoa! And that kick knocks me over the railing. So here's a slower walkthrough with the actual camera angles, more of like what we would actually shoot it as. And you can see I totally forgot to wear my jacket. And here's that cut. Pick up my helmet, and we go straight into the next part. And I totally have this retarded, mean guy face on. So here's that helmet hit, and the camera pans by as he goes by, and that sets up perfectly for that stomach shot. And here's another kind of cool pan out here as I do a spin. He does a spin as the camera pans around. And we've added a little something here. You'll notice when we get to the arm bar, we go down, up, oh shit, boom. As I realize that he's going for my legs. And there's another cut, ostrich dip, he loses. It bounces off my helmet, flies out of his hand. Headbutt, oh I'm pissed, I'm gonna punch you in the face with a helmet on, stupid. That's what you get. Now, he's supposed to hit me against the pole two times, but yeah, he goes around for a third. That's okay. It's cool. I'm tough. I can handle it. I knocked the helmet out of his hand, and he knocks me over the railing. Now, we're going to switch to another location. We didn't have full access to the, the main location that you just saw. So this is us just working out some more rough choreography. I've just gotten kicked over the railing, and I've fallen down. Still supposed to be wearing my jacket, so that foot stomp wouldn't have hurt me. So now we're up on the floor proper. And this is going to lead into him kicking me off the floor into a pile of equipment. And in that pile of equipment are going to be two uh, training swords called Shinai's. And we're going to use those to fight in the next segment. So again, this is all very, very rough. We only rehearsed this like four or five times before we shot this video. So now we have the Shinai's after he kicks me off the floor into the pile. We both grab up some Shinai's and we go into a sword fight. Now the important thing to remember about this sword fight is that we we're going to actually we were planning on actually using these swords, so there wouldn't be real swords. And he's taking more of a um, kung fu style. I'm taking more of a kendo style. So he's using it with one hand, and I'm using it with two hands. And you just saw right there. Right, there's a little kind of like wushu stuff. Again, I'm still wearing my jacket right there, so that would have been a uh, deflection off my arm pad. I kept forgetting to, I, I kept forgetting on my jacket all the time. So again, it's important to remember that. We, uh, we come to a couple of instances in this routine here where we actually grab the swords. And that's okay because we're not going to be using real swords, so there's no blade edges. There you see a nice big sweeping kendo style movement. I try, we try to incorporate a lot of that kendo block. 
So here, there's a grab. We do some kind of, you know, fancy ballet shit. And I try to grab his sword, but he pulls it back. I try to grab it again, he still pulls it back. And he's still got an iron grip on my sword. But I don't want to let go of my sword. A little confusion in the choreography here, and he was supposed to go straight into that move. So now he has two swords. I got none. Still wearing my jacket because I'm still forgetting it because I'm an idiot. And here we are fighting in amongst the bars. A little confusion in the choreography. We, uh, we only practiced this a couple of times before we shot it. And so there's a couple more pokey stabby stuff going on here. That's what I'm pantomiming. You know, eventually it gets to the point where I'm able to get up on the bars and do a kick to his face like that. Cool little bar move. So I get my sword back, and I'm all happy. I'm celebrating. Ah, ha, ha, I got my sword back. Oh, crap. So I just lost my sword again because I'm an idiot. I was celebrating too early. So he comes chasing after me. I grab it up. Thank you, Sasha, for the uh, wonderful sound what effects. The hell? No, I wasn't supposed to hit the bar. I'm sorry. So here I try and do a kip up, but he holds my sword down, so I can't make it. Again, no sword edges, so I can block with my hand. I trip him up. Try and do a back roll foot stomp or leg stomp on him. Using the bar for cover. Again, he grabs my... He, well, first he binds it to the uh, to the uh, upright. And then he grabs my stuff and pulls me right up and over. Boom. And with my jacket on, because I'm still supposed to be wearing my damn jacket, uh, that would have been just a straight flip over to my back. I wouldn't have put my hands down or anything. And then he proceeds to uh, beat the shit out of me. Yeah, like that. So, hey, I remember to wear my jacket. Awesome. So, uh, I wake up after getting the shit kicked out of me, and uh, he's on the phone with his boss, the, the guy who uh, he sent who sent him to uh, beat the crap out of me. And now he's all like, yeah, let's go. Bring it, man. Bring it. What you got? So, uh, I, put my, I put my biking gloves on, and uh, I want to really get him. So, boom, hit the wall, and I have... Kevlar knuckles on my bike gloves, so we made a show of me hitting things really hard. I'm supposed to be closer for that hit. And spin around and one foot landing. That's very nice, we like that. And I'm out for that round again. <laughs> 